Welcome back to the Sports Max Zone. And over 80 of Jamaica's top male and female amateur golfers are expected for this year's return of the Keller Jamaica Lindy Delapena Golf Classic at the Kemanas Golf and Country Club in St. Catherine starting on Saturday. The 18 hole Stableford event is played in honor of late reggae boy and sports journalist. Lloyd Lindy Delapena. Delapena is the first Jamaican to play top flight football in England and one of the best to ever lace up a pair of boots from the island. The event is being organized by the All Boys Association at Lindy's alma mater, Monroe College. The tournament coordinator, Telroy Morgan, joins us now. Welcome to the Sports Max Zone. Hey, you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Happy Tell to be here. Happy to have you. Tell Roy, how are preparations going for Saturday's event? Absolutely. It couldn't have been better. We have had a, a nice template in place, which we have been building on year on year. And um, all the moving parts are indeed coming together. So we are indeed delighted. Wonderful team working with. And um, we're growing from strength to strength. Can you share with us, you know, a bit about the format of the competition and the golfers that will be on display? Some big names. Right. So, um, well, first of all, in terms of the golfers, we, we would have liked to have our own Sean Morris, our own Monroe. Yeah. Unfortunately, Sean is overseas attending to some other bigger golfing duties. But on the day upon coming golfer, William... Uh, we expect him to be in the mix um, for us, for sure. That's um, William Nibs. Um, I expect my own boss, Mr. Winston Watson, to be on show in the men's super senior category. You would know quite well um, Dave Cameron, former president of the West Indies Cricket. He will be on show. Uh, Radcliffe Nibs, just to call a few other names that are in the mix. But the big guns will be there. Uh, we're expecting over 80 golfers um, to be on show on the day. It will be a wonderful atmosphere in terms of the weather conditions. The forecast is looking good and well. In terms of the format itself, um, we're using what is called a 7-8 uh, stable food. And what we're looking at is to having 7-8 of the handicap adjusted. And the stable for the format is pretty much typical for events of this nature around charity. So golfers are well familiar with it. We have a shotgun start at 8 o'clock and we're expecting things to go pretty smoothly based on how plans have been going. Telford, we always have new people watching the sports magazine and catching various segments and especially youngsters as well. Just tell them Linda De La Pena and that Monroe link. Right, thank you, George, for this opportunity to expand a little bit on, on Lindy. Well, well, certainly for us, George, growing up, Lindy was a household name. And, and being a Monroeian myself, um, it is with extreme privilege that we pretty much have this tournament stage in honor of Lindy, who passed away in 2017. And in fact, it's at that time we actually rebranded the pro the program, this golfing program, to the Lindy De La Pena Classic in his honor. Now, Lindy is an icon on every level. Um, for Monroe, uh, Lindy represented Monroe at Boys Champs. And, you know, legend has it that the year Monroe won in 1945, one of the years we won Boys Champs, Lindy's point alone, Judge, could have given us third place if Lindy had just turned up and represented Monroe alone. Um, he moved on to greater heights. He went abroad, was in the British Army, was recruited from the British Army to play in the English Premier League, played for Portsmouth, um, the first black man, first Jamaican. So he would have been that person who would have opened the gates of many others to follow throughout the year. And, you know, with that and many other accolades that Lindy has brought to the premise, that's great. And in fact, on his return, he did work with JBC at the time, now TVJ, for many, many years. And his latter years, he 
spend playing golf and the information has it that Lindy evening his last days was scoring near scratch golf. Um, and it just goes to show that anything that Lindy applied himself to um, comes to great fruition. So great icon, great Monroeian, great Jamaican. And we honor Lindy every year around this time. Absolutely so. Legend has, well not legend, it's a fact. He had one of the hardest shots in football and it's funny, Telroy, yesterday we were talking on this show about the best wingers in the history of the Premier League in England. The Premier League, of course, is now 30 years old, starting in 1992. We're talking about some names. There was a time when any discussion in English football about the best wingers to play on the English shows had to involve the legendary Sir Stanley Matthews. And there were also many people who swear that Lindy De La Pena was among those who uh, would vie for the title of best winger to parade his skills on the British Isles. I uh, want to thank you for speaking with us today, Telford. We're out of time. Hope the competition is a success. And more than anything else, I hope you get very, very good weather. That's the key. Uh, absolutely. And our sponsor on board big time, Keller Williams, Jamaica. We're we are grateful for the support, JMB Proven. Thank you very much. Yeah, when you say Winston Watson, your boss, your boss at Petrojam? Correct. There you go. There you <laughs> go. All right, my friend, all the best. <laughs> right, indeed. Thank you. Thank good. you, George. Good, good, good. Back with more on the Sportsman Zone after these. Thank you for watching Sportsmax on YouTube. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and to click the notification bell to stay informed.